Let's talk about Joanne Hardesty's big win. It was pretty lopsided. What does her win mean for the city council? Well, she's already made history, uh, as we've talked about just a moment ago, but now she has a chance to be a, a historic figure in terms of the central role she plays in the future of the city. She can either decide to be a kind of an outsider on the council and be an anti-establishment force, like she said on some of the issues she campaigned on, or she can kind of work to meld the council into a smooth running machine. I mean, the people I think want, they want someone who is an outsider and a change agent, but they also want their city council to work. So she's got some real challenges. It's not all on her shoulders. The other council people have got to make her be an effective part of the five person team. But really, as the newest member uh, and in the way she won, uh, she's got a large responsibility in shaping the way the council operates on some very critical issues. All right, Governor Brown's big win over Newt Bueller. Yeah. Put this in perspective. What does this mean for the future of the state? Well, again, this is a chance for a, a governor to have legacy. Last term, uh, things change for you. You kind of look at the, your own role and the role, your role in history. Uh, you know, I think Newt, Newt Bueller was smart in saying that this is all about uh, the future, that uh, the, we can't afford to kind of have business as usual. And I don't think Kate Brown is a business as usual kind of person. So she's got a chance to put all of the policy credentials that she's got to work with a super majority in the House and Senate and a, a kind of an army of people outside who want to help her do stuff. And she can pick and choose a couple of things that will really make a very strong progressive agenda for uh, Oregon. Not a lot of time left, but sure. the Democrats took majority control in the House. What does that mean for our congressional delegation? Four people got a promotion. Uh, four of the Democrats, one person got a demotion, Greg Walden. Uh, it means a couple of things. They will have the gavels, they will be in charge of, of policy issues. All of them are policy people. And the real challenge for them is to make sure that they put a break on Trump without being a foil to Trump. So they, because he loves playing off against people. So what's got to happen is our Democrats in our delegation have got to try and move an agenda forward without becoming kind of fodder for the Trump game. Len, thank you. you we'll bet. see you again later on. Good talk. Thank you.